looked at the lunar racer around this notion of no compromise. How do we deliver not only a lightweight shoe, but also a lightweight shoe that offers incredible uh, responsive cushioning. And that notion of no compromise is something that uh, we think is a really rich vein for us to explore, not only in our racing product, but also in our everyday training product as well. The thing we wanted to do with the, uh, our training shoe was not only utilise what we learned in the racer about a really responsive cushioning system um, with the Lunar Light, but also try to offer runner specific support. Uh, we did this by utilising a new system that we've got under patent uh, pending right now, which is what we're calling dynamic support. So what we've really thought about with dynamic support, the dynamic support system, uh, is thinking about how the foot works during foot strike. So typically there's a lot of uh, weight on that initial contact point, um, typically on the lateral heel. There's then um, transfer of weight from the lateral to the medial side and from the heel to the toe. What we did with dynamic support was really think about how we could uh, manage impact forces and also provide runner specific support. The way that we did that was to use Lunar Light system to ensure that we have responsive cushioning. We also wedged uh, not only the um, softer core but also the firmer carrier. So essentially uh, you get more of the um, softer cushioning uh, at the heel area which is typically where a lot of the impact force um, occurs and then as you come through from that lateral to medial side there's a ramping um, of the technology to allow for runner specific support so the more pressure that's put on that medial side of the shoe the more that uh, the firmer carrier is engaged which is less compressible which allows for a more uh, uniform transfer of force from the heel through to the toe. Not only is this runner specific as a support system, uh, but also it's run specific. So even a neutral runner can get fatigued towards the end of a run, um, and that's where maybe they start to activate that firmer carrier a little bit more.